Okay, so we're gonna be visiting some of the most unique and craziest hotels in America. From the world's largest potato you can actually go inside to the most haunted hotel. Yeah, no, I won't be going to that one. I'm sorry, but you have to. My biggest fear is to go, so I'm I will not... drag you in that hotel. <laughs> what? Oh, and I also forgot to mention, we're staying in the most expensive room in Las Vegas that goes for over $30,000 a night. Okay, see, I'll be participating in that one. Only if you go to the haunted hotel. Deal? Deal. All right, no. let's do this. So I picked up Pearson and we took the next flight to our first hotel, which was also one of the weirdest, and we're gonna get Pearson's reaction. Oh my God, this is like not real. <laughs> this is in the middle of nowhere too. The big Idaho potato hotel. Idaho is known for its potatoes. This is only fitting that they have a hotel that's a big <laughs> potato. Oh my God. Oh my God. What the heck? Wait. This is nuts. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! This is nicer than my room. <laughs> I could live here. Okay, so we have a record player over here, Mr. Potato. Oh, it's Mr. Potato! No way! That's literally so cute. <laughs> Where's the bathroom? Oh. Something tells me that that right there is the bathroom. Ain't no wait, way! Wait. Are you joking? Wait, wait. Whoa. This is like this is the nicest luxury. bathroom I've ever seen. It's still nicer than my room. <laughs> you guys can have the potato. I'm sleeping in here. Right? We got a full-on shower in here. We have a cool bathtub right here. This is a little weird though. The toilet is right under the sink. Wait, what the heck? Yeah, I just noticed that. Wait, that's kind of, that is a little weird. Wait, okay, that's weird. <laughs> okay, so when I booked this hotel, they basically said that it comes with your own cow. We got like a pet? Why are we staying? It comes with your own cow. That's Dolly? Oh, wait, I think I found Dolly. Can we keep her? No, how is he gonna- Can we take her on the plane with us home as a carrier? She can sleep in the potato with us. <laughs> Here's your feeding Dolly. Oh, short breath stank. <laughs> <laughs> So what's really cool is that this hotel has room service. So should we order some room service? Yeah, let's order room service. Let's try it. <laughs> okay. Here it is. Ooh. Uh, wait, what? It's all different forms of potatoes. We're eating a potato inside a potato. <laughs> <laughs> potato section. Oh. What are you wearing? I'm a farmer. I'm just gonna go roam around and explore. Okay. All right. All right, Pearson. Now that Drew is gone, it's just you and I in this massive potato. Aw. It's kind of romantic. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? A, a super secret handshake with little no effort using only our right hand? Yeah! <laughs> There's a first for everything. Uh, yeah, seriously. So maybe, should we make out? No. Okay. okay. <laughs> Drew's back! Look what I got! What is that? What do you think? What, what? Those... what oh the? My... <laughs> potatoes for everybody. <laughs> I'm so sick of potatoes! Yeah. No, Drew! I'm not gonna be third real life no more, alright? Wait, what? I got a date. Oh, okay. Wait, what is I that? I matched with her on Tinder. She's on her way over right now. What? <laughs> Middle of nowhere, Drew. <laughs> Does she know that you're in a potato? I just told her to come over, so oh. now she's about to find out. <laughs> she's actually kind of cute. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm honestly really nervous. Hey. Hi, I'm how Harley. I'm good, how are you? Good, I'm good, yeah. Well, welcome to the place. <laughs> okay, this is where you live. <laughs> have you ever seen a potato this big before? I haven't. I'm not gonna <laughs> then you have to see the inside. The inside's even cooler. Wow. Here it is. This is awesome. Hi, Pearson. Have you ever been on a date in a potato? No. Oh, okay. It's a first for everything. <laughs> this is where you and Drew are going to be sleeping right here. Perfect. Is it? <laughs> Carly, is this what you expected when you came over today? Not at all. <laughs> is You're... it better than what you expected? Yes. Yeah! I'm oh, surprised she didn't leave. Why is she still here? Yeah, I mean, I'll wake up. I might be gone, though. Uh... <laughs> Good night. I'm going to turn the lights off. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, oh shit. What was that? Turn the lights back on. <laughs> <laughs> Pearson loved the potatoes so much that she wanted to stay a few more days. But for me, I booked a room at the most haunted hotel in America known as the Stanley. Okay, so we're in Colorado. I have always wanted to go snowboarding with Bren, and we're finally doing it! I think we're almost there. We're about 15 minutes away. I have something to tell you guys. I hate when you say that. <laughs> that, that is I lied. We're not going snowboarding. We're actually going to the most haunted hotel in America. Yeah! What? It's what? called the Stanley Hotel. Don't do this to me. This is gonna be a lot of fun. The movie The Shining was inspired by this hotel. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Okay, it says here that the fourth floor is the most haunted. Oh yeah, that's the floor we're staying on. Are you kidding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what makes the fourth floor scary is reports of children ghosts playing in the hallways the at night. The spookiest places in a America. The Stanley Hotel is known for paranormal activity. This fourth floor, the, these children ghosts, if you will. Oh, what shit, we're here. Wait, look at oh. all the oh. oh, yeah! Oh. I felt like a weird feeling right when we pulled up. I swear, my heart's racing. Yo, it's not too late to turn back. <laughs> we can go home right now. Oh, you're right. The child. We want the child. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's okay. 
<laughs> After we checked in, we took the elevator up to our room, but things started to get creepy right away. Bro, I swear I recognize this. From what? I don't know, bro. Like, look at this hallway, bro. Was this in the movie? Yeah. Are you kidding me? What We're staying this? at the Shining Hotel. <laughs> where does I don't? Where does that go? Wait, what the? F <laughs> what? Wait, what is oh. this? <laughs> shut the oh, hell up! Shut the f shut up! up. <laughs> Wait, you're not going anywhere. Shut you're not going up. anywhere. And guess what? That kid in the lobby was f***ing licking on one of the suckers. Shut the hell up! <laughs> they say that the kids play on level four and that you will find kid things. Literally, there is two lollipops on the staircase. Bro, we haven't even made it to our room yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the hell? There's fingerprints on top. <laughs> what does it say? This is murder. We need to go home. It literally says murder on the ceiling. And you know what's crazy is you can't wipe it off because they did it from the inside, bro. How is that possible? <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe we go in a room and it's a really good vibe. You know? We yeah. Don't, we don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah, just as creepy as everything else. <laughs> hey, our view's nice. Yeah, until there's like a ghost standing down there. <laughs> this is the cowboy room. It says he likes to sit in the corner. His favorite spot's the couch, which is like right there. Oh. He's a ghost in this room. Pretty much, yeah. So this, is his, this is his room. It's his room we're staying in. It's the seat that he likes to sit on. There's literally like an you can it. see it in there. Rock, paper, scissors between Drew and Ava, who has to sit in his chair. Bro, this is literally playing rock, paper, scissors to see who gets possessed. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Bro, you gotta I, sit in the chair. Bro, I didn't really sign up for this at all. How's it feel? Honestly. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Oh, Drew, Drew! Bro, what? Did you just hear that? I swear, did you just hear that? Wait, what's the f***? Open it, open it, open it. You're joking. Fred, 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 Fred. This is the least relaxing hotel I've ever stayed oh at. Oh, no, no, no. What? Oh, no. What? What? Yeah. what? Ava, what? Ava, what? No. What? Ava, 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 what? Ava, what? What? Shut the f up. I was sitting on the bed, and then it felt like someone sat on it too, because the bed, like, wiggled. <laughs> Heart attack. It's the cowboy. It all started when Drew sat in that chair. I'm not gonna lie, it sounded like the boys didn't say Drew. Just Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop, 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 stop. I'm leaving. I don't want to be. I don't want to throw up. Dude, I, sw I stood out there and I was listening. It was a kid. It was a kid. It was a kid. It was a, kid. It was a little girl. I swear to god. I swear to god. It was obvious we needed some time to regroup. So we went in the lobby to get some food and after, checked into Dom and Drew's hotel. You guys have your own room. Is there also a haunted cowboy in our room? This one? 426, yeah. Oh, see if it's the same thing. Oh my god. Oh wow. Whoa. Wait, this one's scary. What the hell? Ow. What? Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad he went in first. I'm, I got you. What's up with that? Oh my, are you kidding me? I just like dude, Dom's I so got you so good. <laughs> Thank you for walking in first, Barbie. I really appreciate it. I, I would have flipped out. I just like saved Dom's life. <laughs> and later that night, we met an employee who's worked at the Stanley for over 20 years, and she agreed to show us around the most haunted spots in the hotel. Okay, so we're walking to the concert hall right now. Um, apparently, we're going in the basement, but you said that you don't go in this basement alone, right? I don't do that. Night tours anymore. <laughs> oh, what? This what are we is doing? a night tour. Wait, what was the last time you were down here? Four months. Oh, oh, look at where we're going right there? now. Are you <laughs> Who wants to go first see what they what? feel? Tour guide. I actually oh, have God. a key for my back to the wall because I have a cold spike all the way up and down my spine. I'm very uncomfortable. Dude, what? <laughs> I don't want to be down here. Do you have the ghost detector thing? If there's something here, it will go crazy. There's Three, two, one. This is a horrible idea. <laughs> okay, it's right here. Turn the light on. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Bro. That scared the hell out of me. What is that doing? I don't know, she told me to just like, have it in my hand. Hand flat, stand it up. You might feel pressure, might feel like it's lifting, it might move. I've seen them lay down and I've seen them stand back up on themselves again. What, how did the dum dum start? Like how did the lollipop? What, 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 what? Did anybody just have a, like a little, kind of a bright light in there? I just saw something in there. In the bathroom? Like a, little, like a face. Put the thing. You put the thing, Put the bro. thing over there. Brett, Brett, Brett. Brett. Oh my god, oh my god. Dom, Dom, Dom. Dom, it's going off right there. That's <laughs> 
<laughs> bro, what are we doing here? <laughs> what, what was that lady saying? Said, well, she said if you put them in your hand like this and say like, oh, like take it, take it. Apparently they're either like fall over and like they can stand back up. Or I don't something. think I, I like believe that. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's real. What the hell, you guys, 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 guys! Oh, oh, that door just moved. Oh what? My Yo, the door literally just moved. We need to leave. We need to leave. <laughs> oh, there's literally nobody here. How? How did this happen, bro? <laughs> Wait, what? The door moved. That was like you subtle. Saw, you yeah, saw that was subtle. Yeah, it moved. Look at this. It's time for us to leave. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think it's time for us to leave. I think we had a fantastic time here at the Stanley Hotel, but I do think that we should go now. I have never seen you pack so fast, Ava. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should have left hours ago. <laughs> So are you sure you guys don't want to stay? No. no. Alright, how about this? If this video gets 350,000 likes, then we come back and stay overnight, 24 hours. 350,000? Yeah. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I guess we'll do so. it. Let's get the f*** out of yeah, here. Yeah, please. Let's go. <laughs> so, I dropped off Dom and Ava at the airport and picked up Andrew and Lexi. And what they don't know is that they are staying in one of the craziest, most expensive hotels in the entire world. Resorts World in Las Vegas. Alright, so we just got to Las Vegas. Yeah. Are you guys excited to see this room? Yes. yes. So this is one of the biggest rooms in Las Vegas. Vegas and also one of the nicest. Well, let's, let's see it. Right, yeah, right. So let's go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> no. It's like it's own <laughs> little this, hotel. This This is Vegas, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. So this room comes with your own sauna. Oh my god, that's nuts. So basically this room is called the palace. It has five bedrooms. That Can doesn't even make sense. I'd like movie. to buy the palace. <laughs> Over here we have your own movie theater. <gasps> oh my god. This looks so comfortable. I'm dreaming. You're lucky enough to sleep in the movie theater. <laughs> Literally, you can watch as many movies as you want in your hotel room in this movie theater. Theater. There's another sauna? Yeah. No way! Oh. Each bathroom has a sauna! <laughs> so when you're in the bath, just chilling, you can just watch TV on this flat screen TV. How convenient. I've always wanted to do that. So guys, you have your own pool table, your own bar. I, my brain is exploding. <laughs> like, I can't handle this. This is your private pool. This backyard is huge. This is the community pool for the whole hotel. <laughs> and also, it comes with its own hot tub. I'm not leaving. They're driving me out here. Check out the hotel by our room. Bro. <laughs> I have never seen a room this nice before in my entire life, and we've been to nice hotels. Yeah. Yeah, this bro. beats everything. <laughs> oh my god. What's up, guys? Hey, it looks like Lexi and Andrew are making themselves at home. We're trying to watch a movie. You are home, brother. Get out. <laughs> Actually, I don't oh, think dude. they're oh, going to watch a movie, I guess. Should we just go to the pool? Yeah, let's go. Right, let's oh, go. guys, come on. All right, I guess it's just me and you, Drew. Oh, God. I don't know if I want to watch a movie anymore. <laughs> Yo, it says they have hot massages. What's a hot massage? I don't know. We should find out. Okay. Right, I'm going to call them. <laughs> yeah, can we get the hot massages? Oh, no. <laughs> Hey, you know what time it is, right? What time is it, Drew? It's time to go in the pool. We haven't used it yet. Oh, oh, oh. right now. Oh, you're gonna go right now. Oh, oh. 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 like that. It is so warm in here. Is it actually? You guys have to come in. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there is nothing better than laying out by your private pool in the biggest hotel room in Las Vegas. I know, dude. I feel like this is like a special moment for, you know. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think our room service is here. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you can literally order as much room service as you want. Oh my god. Bro. Yes. Whoa. Finally start. Yeah, where did we, we start? got a little bit of everything. These fries are the best fries I've ever had. <laughs> oh, what's going on in here, guys? What's up, bro? <laughs> Hey, this is what the hot massages meant. Yo, I think I Dude. might need a hot massage after this. We oh, your turn, all right? Right now, me and Andrew Dude. are going. This room like so nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, um, I'm gonna leave you guys to it. I'll catch up with you after. All right, I'm next. Man, I feel bad for Ava and Dom. Oh yeah. They get the most haunted hotel, and we get the most luxurious hotel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Life's Say less, brother. Life is unfair. <laughs> with this hotel, we have all access to like everything, like fancy dinners, nightclubs. Like, what are we? Let's go have fun. Yeah. Have fun. What are we waiting for, bro? Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, let's go! We come alive in the night time Something about how it is In the moonlight I look in your eyes And it tells me that you want me And all my loving We come alive in the night time You and I Alright, 
So we just got back from a fun night tonight. Literally, there are so many rooms in this hotel room that everyone has their own room. Yeah? What? Drew? This is weird, but I was curious if I could sleep in here. Dude, after the Stanley Hotel, I haven't been able to sleep. Like, okay, I, and? Dude, this place is huge. I think the ghost followed me. You have your own room! Dude, I, I'm haunted. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. I have a robe on, it's okay. <laughs> Bro, I was literally so excited of having my own room. It's alright, exactly. I'm not here. <laughs> Guys, we are in the middle of the forest right now. We are going to our next hotel. Liv has no idea what this hotel <laughs> is. Straight woods. Yeah. This one's the one I've been looking forward to most. Yeah. All right, Liv, right, right. this way. Okay. Hey. Follow me. You know, actually, it's kind of sketch. You guys took me to the woods. <laughs> no, literally no, no. going to freak out. On three, you're gonna open your eyes, okay? Yeah. All right, one, <laughs> two, three. What oh, is that? That's where oh, we're going to be staying. <laughs> it's not on the ground. It's floating. It's a pine cone? It's a pine cone shape. Dude. It's hanging from the tree. Okay, Hannah. you guys are right. I would have never guessed that. That's insane. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot to tell you. You have to climb up this ladder in order to get there. I need someone to hold my hand because that's kind of scary. I'll hold your hand, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold my own hand, never mind. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, the ladder's like shaking. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my god. I think that's my first reaction too. We are literally in a pine cone right now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You got this. Only well, we look halfway there. You're halfway. <laughs> Yo, whatever you do, just don't look down. Don't look down, Liv. Liv! <laughs> Holy oh, crap, wow. this is so nice. You kind of feel it swaying right yeah. yeah. So there's like a couple wires that are basically hooked onto the top of this pine cone that are hooked onto trees, and that's how we're floating right now. I don't know if I should trust this. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Imagine like a date year. Like just yeah. you and a girl. That's so romantic. Hey, Liv, what are you doing? No, I'm out. Ah, oh, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> oh. All right, so right now we're going to give you a little tour of the pine cone. Let's do it. Okay, so there's a little heater in case you get cold. And because you're in the forest, there's a bunch of little plants like this all over around the pine cone. As you can see, we have a lovely seat. And then a basket full of blankets. Ooh, just in case it gets cold at night. Exactly. And of course, to sleep at night, a queen size bed. Voila. For the queen, guys. No, it's for the both of us. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Yo. Get out of here. You get to sleep on the ground. Right below the acorn is a hammock. Why didn't I see that? <laughs> I didn't either. Here, come check it out, guys. Wait, We're like still 50 feet up in the air. Shut up, wait, this looks so comfortable. So, where's the bathroom? Oh. The bathroom is down there. Down the ladder. <laughs> yeah. If you don't want to go to the restroom, just open up the window and go out there. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work like that for me, okay? <laughs> I think a bridge just to go to the bathroom. Yo, this is nice. Whoa. Look at the view too. Oh my god. This makes me want to use the restroom. <laughs> Yo, if anyone's like out there hiking, they're just gonna see me going to the bathroom. <laughs> this has to be the coolest shower ever. It's on the tree that the pine cone's hanging from. That's crazy. Just imagine, Drew, you finish your shower and then you have to hike 50 feet back up in the air to get back to the pine cone where your clothes are. Uh, that's like the worst feeling ever. <laughs> Yo, was anyone else hungry? Don't worry about it. I ordered DoorDash like 20 minutes ago. How was the delivery guy even gonna find this place? We'll just hope for the best. Yo, it took us forever to find it. There's no <laughs> way. All the doors open. This is scary though. Look. Look at this. You can fall out right there. <laughs> oh my oh. gosh. Oh, it says he's here. Where is he? No! Oh. Oh, oh. I see Where? It's him. Hey, up here! I'm so confused. <laughs> you think you can just throw it up? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, this isn't gonna work. Do you wanna just climb up here then with it? Okay. We'll right. give you a good tip. Perfect. There's no way. Thank you. Five stars. Five stars. <laughs> you deserve it, sir. Wait, Liv, why didn't you get us any food? You guys can think for yourselves. I've been talking about how I'm hungry for the past two hours. <laughs> Food. Don't do this. No, okay, I said Don't do this. One fry, but that's Don't do no. this. Oh. Drew, wait, what are you oh. doing? Whoa! Why did you do that? You didn't order enough for the all of us, so none of us get it. I now have to go get it. No, now the bears have it. Oh. This is one of the most expensive hotel rooms in the entire world. You literally walk outside of this room and you have your own private pool, your own deck, an outdoor shower, and the entire Indian Ocean. It's the only underwater hotel on Earth located in the middle of the ocean, halfway across the world at the Conrad Maldives. So I looked it up and I called the hotel. This is the underwater room, right? Yes, sir, this is correct. How much is it a night? Yes, the underwater hotels go for $30,000 a night. $30,000? Oh my God, I don't think my bank account is gonna like this at all. All right, we can book it. We booked the room, gathered some friends, and headed straight for the airport. But the journey was half the battle. So in order to get to the island, we actually have to take a seaplane over there. Why are they in the a ocean? Sea? Why are they <laughs> what is the seaplane? The plane that takes off and lands on the sea. Bro, there's no How way we're taking that. <laughs> can we just take a boat? <laughs> Wait, 
having second thoughts about this. <laughs> oh my god. I've never sat this close to the pilot. Like, <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take off now. I, I think it's tight enough. No, it's not. <laughs> arrived here at the hotel and guys that is our hotel room i don't know if it's a room that's like a house that's, there's other people that stay there right oh no it's just us in that yeah that whole thing yeah are you guys ready to check it out yes yeah. holy crap all right let's go okay. okay so this is so unnecessary but they're golf carting us to the room we need this i'm not hiking to the room uh, what? <laughs> what, what is this they're playing music for us <laughs> we haven't even entered the hotel yet <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, they're real oh, flowers. Wow. It's engraved on the coconut. <laughs> Was the seaplane worth it now? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, I just got laid. <laughs> oh my god, look at the bathtub. Oh my god, oh, oh, This is so freaking oh, nice. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Are you actually joking? Are you joking? Are you kidding? You guys can leave. Like, I, I want to take a bath. Oh my god. I'm not even overreacting right now. This is the most beautiful this place I've ever been. Oh, wow. Bro, oh, this There's is a whole crazy. other room. Bro. That's crazy. Yeah. You can literally get out of bed and just jump straight into the ocean. <laughs> Are you going to do that, Drew? Yeah. yeah. There's another bathroom in here. Oh! oh. How did it know I was here? How did it just happen? The toilets are very futuristic. All right, guys, so I know this room is insane, but there's more. Mm -hmm. No, I'm I'm mm. satisfied. No, there's more. Let's go check it out. <laughs> this room is two stories, so it has its it, own elevator. What? what? <laughs> Going down. Down is the ocean, though. Exactly. Come on. Let's <gasps> <go>. <gasps> what? What? Right now, we are actually underwater. Nah. Okay, Brent. Yeah, I could have guessed that. <laughs> I'm gonna actually cry. Oh my god. I'm literally gonna cry. This, this is the is... most peaceful thing I have ever seen. This is the bathroom. <laughs> While you are showering and maybe pooping, you get a nice view of all the fish in the sea. Brent. And the fish get a nice view of you pooping. So <laughs> this is the master bedroom. It is completely underwater. There's nothing like this room in the entire Entire world. Drew, what are you doing? I'm trying to play with the fish. <laughs> I think they're scared of you. They are. Yeah. <laughs> this is the coolest hotel you could probably ever even think of. So guys, I hate to break this to you, but there is only one bed in here, which means this is my room. No, oh, all of us. I'm sorry. It's yeah, a king so. bed, Brent. It can fit. Two. Ew, I'm, you know what? I don't want to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a perfect date spot. Why'd I come alone? Hey. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Literally, like. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this glass is so thick. Oh my god. The only thing that could cut through this glass is live singing. No, 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 no. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh. <laughs> All right, so this is Shazu. He's one of two butlers that come with this room. Wait, so if we need anything, we talk to him and he can get it. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Get us like a few free nights here. Of course. <laughs> I'm just so grateful. Oh like people don't get to see this in their life. Yeah. You know? I'll remember this forever. I'm just grateful to be here with you guys. Aww. Like, ah! Cheers to this amazing experience being with you guys and just enjoying it all. Cheers. 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 All right. Yeah. All right, let's party. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yo, Drew, what are you doing? Snorkeling. Why do you have a shark fin on you? Sharks don't eat other sharks. What? Uh, <laughs> this is a problem. Dude, no, that is the stupidest thing, thing ever. It's better safe than sorry. <laughs> I think a shark's gonna eat you because you look so dumb. I, I'm hoping I don't offend them. <laughs> Oh my god, is that Drew and Pearson? Yo, wait, what? <laughs> Look at that massive fish! Ooh, it's so ugly! Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Drew! Oh my god. Yo. So another perk of having this room is you can get massages whenever you want. Oh, I need one. So Pearson, <gasps> I scheduled a massage for you and I. Oh my god, I love wait, you. Wait, do I get a massage? 
No. Come on. Let's go. Bye, Drew. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Drew. That's beautiful. <laughs> As if this day couldn't get any better. I know, seriously. Literally, Pearson, right now, we're having a massage underwater. Oh, is that where we are? Oh. <laughs> I feel like all the fishes are staring at us. <laughs> They're so jealous right now. <laughs> all right, so now it is the time we've all been waiting for. I'm about to take a shower underwater. I've literally seen the same fish swim by three times. I know he's checking me out. Hey, let me go. Oh my god! Whoa! That was literally the best shower of my entire life. I'm just glad no scuba divers came down while I was taking a shower because that would have been really bad. All right, so we are chilling in the underwater room. Literally, I feel like this is the most private place on planet Earth. It's so private. We're underwater. No one can see anything. No, there's no people anywhere around. What's is that Drew? What? Just kiss already? <laughs> okay. What are you doing, Drew? Get out. Move. Ah, look at how big that fish is, Brent. Oh my oh god. My god. Oh my god. Beautiful fish I've ever seen. Look at that thing. Whoa. That's crazy. I cannot believe that. Yo, it looks even cooler at night. Oh, this isn't even like pitch black yet. Like there's still some sunlight. I can't even imagine when it is like blackout. So basically this room comes with lights that you can change outside so it like turns different colors. <gasps> the lights. The lights. Whoa. So many. Oh my god. Yeah. So apparently the fish love the lights because like look at this. The fish are literally having a party outside. <laughs> These lights are so cool. I think I like this room more at night. Yeah, no, this room is way cooler at night. <laughs> All right, so it's getting late. I'm I'm getting a little hungry. What about you guys? Yes. yes. All right, so I have the perfect idea for our next meal. All right, guys, we have sushi. Mm. Eat up. All right. Mm -hmm. Drew, you want a piece? Oh, yum. <laughs> what do you think they're thinking right now? They're thinking, Tony, no! <laughs> not Tony! Fish are friends, not food. Then why are you eating it? Well, because I love sushi. <laughs> Honestly, not thinking about it, I kind of feel really bad now. Yeah, I think I lost my appetite. Yeah. Um, do you guys want to get pizza or something? Yeah, let's yeah. go get pizza. Okay. All right, so we're ready for bed, and Pearson convinced me somehow to stay here in the room with me. It didn't take much convincing. You were going to be scared down here by yourself. That is there's a lot of fish, there's a lot of sharks. That's why we're dressed as sharks, so the fish know not to mess with us. <laughs> the dumbest thing I've ever heard. What the hell? Who's this guy? <laughs> oh, hey guys. I was wondering if I could just sleep here too. Honestly, I'm kind of scared to sleep here. I had them close it so I can't see the water. We'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Good night. Okay, so I just woke up. Literally, I had the best sleep of my life. But let's open up the shades. Whoa. This is what I wake up to. What is this? Look at all the fish. This is the most incredible thing I've ever witnessed before. Look at those guys. Good morning, guys. Well, I just got word that we have a private chef coming to the room right now to cook us all breakfast. So let's go eat. Oh, here it comes. Oh, oh thank you so much. Uh, the mango is so good. The fact that there is a kitchen in this room with a private chef. Yeah. Like literally. the kitchen's in there. It just makes this 10 times better. I feel like it so tastes spoiled. better now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently in the mornings, they actually clean the tank. They clean the room. So this is them. They're uh, wiping down the windows. This is so <laughs> sick. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> literally just changing and I look back and I was like, <laughs> So we're in Tokyo, Japan, and for the next 100 hours, we're gonna be forced to stay in some of the most unique capsule hotels Japan has to offer. Let's do it. From robots that check you in to capsules that watch your sleep patterns, there's even a sleeping pod that's hidden in a library. Okay, so what is a capsule hotel room? Basically, it's a really tiny hotel room that consists of just a bed and other weird things that you wouldn't find in a normal hotel room. And we're supposed to spend 100 hours in it. Yeah. Dude, what? Right? <laughs> and most of them are a lot cheaper than normal hotel rooms, starting at just $9. Do I have to go with you? Yes, Drew. Why? I don't want to do it. And if you guys survive the full 100 hours in the capsule hotels, I will surprise you with the coolest hotel in Japan. See? Okay. There's a reason to do this. It was hour one. So Pearson and I dragged Drew out of the normal hotel, and it was time for us to check into our first capsule hotel. Oh my. What? Oh my what? god. What? I'm honestly actually kind of excited. <gasps> Holy crap. This looks like something out of like of spaceship. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> right? Where is everyone? We actually got here before check-in, so no one has checked in yet. Only us. So we're not gonna be alone. No, eventually people are gonna come in here and fill up all of these pods, and we're gonna have some new roommates, Drew. <laughs> you ready to see our pod? Our pod. We don't get our own pods? They were sold out. They only had one. Bro, we have to share? This is great. This wow, is nice. Wow, this is roomy. So this Real is where we're spending our first night. It literally smells like dirty socks, Drew. Bro, th those are yours. I have something to tell you. We actually have our own pods. Dang it. <laughs> what? I wanted to cuddle. Oh, gosh. Oh, Pearson, you can always stay with no, me if you want. No, that's okay. Don't really? give me those eyes. Really? So when we checked in, they gave us a bag full of amenities. So let's see what's inside. Slippers. Slippers. 
scissors, a towel, Ooh. we have some uh, PJs, mm. toothbrush. After exploring more, each capsule comes with a reading light, a USB, a concave shelf for your phone maybe, and that's basically it. This is the bathroom. Dude, Holy. This looks like, a, like this is huge. This is absolutely insane. Dude, I'm gonna take a shower. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna oh, take what? a shower right now. Not oh. Oh. I just stand on the There was someone in the room. I forgot that there's other people here. <laughs> Dude, they have everything. Look, they have like little Japanese candles. No, I wouldn't eat that. That's soap. That's, yeah, that's soap. <laughs> oh, how's your capsule? It's good. What is this? Oh, that's why this is called the sleep lab. It analyzes your sleep, and it's a thermographic camera, so it basically senses like how loud you snore, you toss and turn at night. Yeah, it's always watching. It can see me. Yeah. So, dude, I sleep naked. <laughs> Wait, what am I gonna do? It's gonna see everything. So before we get some sleep, we met up with the gang and decided to get dinner at a robot cafe, where the robots literally serve you food and entertain you while you eat. Yo, yo, yo! What's going on? <laughs> what? How's the time um, capsule? It's, it's good so far. It's gonna be worse. Capsule. Basically, I made reservations at this robot cafe. You get served by robots and they also like entertain you, I guess. So. I think you just did that so you could leave your capsule. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Pepper. It's nice to meet you. Pepper! Dude, this is not real. This robot is gonna be our waiter at this restaurant. What? Literally, how? <laughs> Brent over here has a peanut allergy. Is that something that is cause for concern? Peanut allergy is a serious concern oh. and should be taken into consideration. You're in safe hands, Brent. This robot talks better than all of us. <laughs> so basically, while we wait for for our food, the waiter can do a bunch of things. You can have her dance, play video games. I want to see her dance. Baby. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Food's coming right oh, now. Look. That's not our food. Shut up. Oh my God. Just grab it? Yeah, we just oh. grab it. There we go. Yeah. This is so futuristic. Yeah, Bye. It was the leaves. That's insane. <laughs> so, what do you say? We share the capsule? So small. There's no airflow in here. <laughs> I'll stay with you, Brent. Drew, I don't want you to stay with me. Dude, you just said that. No, I said I want Pearson to stay with me. <laughs> So Pearson left Drew and I to sleep for the night, and I slept fairly well, but I don't think Drew could say the same. Drew, I didn't sleep at all. You were watching me the whole time. No. No, I swear. Like, the thing, like, there was like a red little blinking light. <gasps> We were 20 hours into the challenge, and once we hit a full 100 hours in all capsule hotels, my friends have surprised me with one of the craziest, most insane hotel rooms in Tokyo. But for now, it was time to pack our stuff and head to the next capsule. Along the way, we made a pit stop at a Japanese convenience store, and this store has literally everything. This is like an ice cream cone ready to go. Just to go. They're known for their extremely good food and snacks. So believe it or not, they sell gyozas at the 7-Eleven. Pork fried rice, but there's also shrimp in here too. And this is really good actually. Full bun sushi from 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven, so let's hope I don't get I'm a little sick. scared. <laughs> With some soy sauce? Like, this would be far. Japanese candy. These Yo. ones I'm excited for. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. mm, that's insane. These are sandwiches. Dessert sandwiches? I have a strawberry sandwich. You have a peach, mango, mandarin sandwich. It's good, but I don't love it. It was time to check into our next capsule. This one is literally disguised as a library. All right, so we just arrived at our next capsule hotel. Why are we at the library? So this isn't the library. This is where we'll be sleeping tonight, but you can also read books here and drink coffee. It's basically like a cafe and a capsule hotel in one. This has to be like the weirdest thing I've ever been to. I know, isn't it really weird? So where are we gonna be sleeping? So the beds are hidden within the bookshelves. Huh? What? You wanna come see? Yeah. All right, let's go. This place was so cool. The beds were literally in the bookshelves, and there was even a disco ball in the corner of the room where Drew and I had a little dance party. All right, so you probably can't see me right now, but I'm currently in the bookshelf. This is our bed for tonight. I don't get my own room. I forgot to tell you, Drew, uh, we're sharing this room. This only has room for one person. Oh, come on. It's pretty roomy in here. Let me show you inside. All right, so we are inside the bookshelf. This is our room for today. Dude, this looks more like a human-sized coffin. I feel like it's kind of cozy, though. It, it is cozy. Yeah. Let's give you guys a little room tour. Let's do it. Okay, so it comes with a pillow and a sheet. You also get a couple hangers, I guess, to like hang clothes up. You could like mess with the lighting so you can turn it down or up. With the room, you also get a safe. If you have expensive belongings, I guess you'll be good. So now that we fully checked in, I say we go outside and get some fresh air. Dude, yeah, we've been stuck in a box for 30 hours. I think that's <laughs> the best decision. So we decided to explore a little more of the city before going to bed. Basically, at this restaurant, you fish for your food. There's a big, huge pond full of fish, and what you catch is what you eat. Do we have to eat it? Yeah. Wait. Do we have to catch it? Yeah. <laughs> Can I catch a big mat? <laughs> <laughs> this one's huge. Oh, no,
<laughs> my head's so hard. Before we checked into the first class of capsule hotels, we had a couple hours to spare, so we met up with the game. All right, so we just got to a cafe, but this is no ordinary cafe. This is a pig cafe. There's a bunch of little pigs in here, and you get to play with them while you eat and drink coffee. Oh no God, way. Yeah. There's just a what? bunch of little Andrews running around. Oh, yeah. oh my God. I might look like one, but you guys what smell like that? one. <laughs> this has to be like the greatest thing we've ever done. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, Pearson! Oh. Gosh. Dude, are they falling asleep on me right now? I'm gonna cry. I'm literally gonna cry. Oh my god! <laughs> Why are they all on Pearson? I don't know. Wait, this was biting my freaking. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but Pearson ate bacon this morning. No, yeah, she did. No, I didn't. She did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh my god, is that a donut? Oh my yeah, gosh, Pearson, this is literally the cutest thing ever. Dude, what? Do you have bacon on the menu? True. Bro, like maybe like pick a pig and then like. True. <laughs> I don't know. What? Oh my god. That's a grilled cheese. How does it taste, Lexi? Oh it tastes like, like a grilled cheese. cheese. Oh what? my god. So this is a rainbow corn dog. Oh. <laughs> What? How? <laughs> Lexi, where'd you get that? I don't even know. Someone just handed it to me. <laughs> What's good? So here we have a 10 yen coin. And, and here we have a 10 yen coin too. It's a waffle with mozzarella cheese in it. Oh. It looks amazing. Oh, that's good. It's really good. After another fun day, it was time to check out our capsule hotel for tonight. And this is one of the best. All right, so we're 65 hours in and we're here at our last capsule hotel. Let's get this over with. Apparently, this is supposed to be one of the nicest, most luxurious capsule pods they have in Tokyo. Tokyo, and also one of the biggest. They're just like unlimited beer or what? <laughs> this is the best capsule yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Damn. It's my fourth one. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, no what? Finally one that could actually fit two people. Oh my god. This one's roomy compared to like the other one. Oh my god. Yeah. Bro, literally, look at this. Like, so cool. By far, Drew, this is the best one yet. After the book in bed, I mean, like, we need something like better, and this is it. Is this a bathroom? We what? Oh my god! Okay, so basically each room comes with a nice little mirror so you can uh, check yourself out. Also, each room comes with a mini tablet where you can control a bunch of things in the room. So if you want your bed to go down, you just press this button. What? So it can go all the way down. You can also revert it to... Now, it's a couch. Check that out. Unlike our other pod, this one comes with a bunch of outlets. Check this out. You have four different outlets. And something that's in none of the capsule hotels that we've been in so far. Air, air conditioning. See, this is necessary. It comes with air conditioning. There's also an alarm system, so when you need to wake up, you can literally have your bed raised, Ch and it, that's the alarm. It'll, like, sit you up. It will sit you up. Okay, see, that's it. That's cool. All right, so this is by far one of the coolest things about this capsule. Apparently, there's something called a robot butler. So what does it do exactly? Dude, this is crazy. I, I ordered it. I don't know. Hello, my name is Shut Andrew. Up. Robot butler. What? What? So, wait, dude, it knows my name? <laughs> How? What? Let's do gummy bears uh, and some cheese balls. And some popcorn, why and not? Some popcorn. popcorn. Coming right up. <gasps> Bro, my God. It just walks away. <laughs> See ya. What the Bye. Hell? Literally has the snacks. What? No way. Yeah, wait, what? Hell? Bro, and this, these are so good. Yo, this is insane. And the freaking popcorn. Bro, this is the best capsule hotel yet. All right, so it's getting pretty late, but this is a cool feature about this capsule that we just found out about. This shade acts as a projector. This is insane. Wait, that's crazy. Oh. They like took the extra step to make this a freaking projector. Dude, this is insane. All right, so guys, this is our final night in the capsule hotels. We're almost there, but um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Yo, shut up. I'm trying to go to bed. Yo, Drew. Stop. So we finally reached the 100 hour mark, which meant it was all worth it. We were about to be surprised with one of the coolest hotel rooms in Tokyo. How much did this hotel room cost? God, a lot. Honestly, at this point, I'm just excited for anything. Yeah. Welcome to your lovely new home. Okay. Welcome. What the fuck? <laughs> There's a carousel in the middle of the hotel room. <laughs> Look at these massive candies on this wall. What the heck? This is in our hotel room? I said, wait till you see the bathtub. Wait, what? What's going on the bathtub? What? It's chocolate. It's a chocolate bath? Yeah. <laughs> we can shower in freaking chocolate.